Hello, uh, here's Tushalach. Today I would like to show you jelly plate. And I use it with uh, acrylic paints to create background. When you take your jelly plate out of the box, you will see that this is the clear, very soft plate covered with uh, two plastic screens. To work with jelly plate, you have to remove the plastic screen. And I wanted to show you how soft it is. As you can see, you can bind it it's very soft and please be careful because you don't have to use any sharp tools. You can scratch the surface and it will be damaged. So you can use the jelly plate with the plastic film at the bottom so it is safe and secured from any damages. Okay, so let's start. I will use acrylic paints. Here are Talens Amsterdam acrylic paints. but you can use any acrylic paint you would like. Here is a brayer. Its surface is also very soft and it's absolutely perfect for working with jelly plate. Using this tool you will spread the paint on the jelly plate. You can use also different tools, for example catalyst wedges, which are silicone tools. They are also very soft and delicate, so they will not scratch the surface of jelly plate. There are also catalyst blades, very similar tools to wedges, also perfect for jelly plate. So, we will start but before we start I would like to show you that we need some stencils. This is Kaisercraft stencil and these are Ranger Tim Holtz stencils. I will apply a small amount of acrylic paint on the jelly plate and I will use a brayer to spread it across the jelly plate. This is absolutely perfect at all for jelly plate because the layer of the paint is not thick in all... I use the Manila tags because uh, they are very useful and I will use them later for many different products. So I put my stencil, Kaiser's Craft stencil, and I put on the top, I put my tag and I press it firmly down. As you will see in a while, oh yes, this is our paint on the tag. So the, this is a gorgeous, a gorgeous pattern on the tag. And we have used only a half of half of jelly plate, so we will have another half. We can take another tag and make exactly the same moves, so 
press the tag firmly down and when we take it we will see that we receive also a pattern on it. The color of the paint is very pale. This is uh, pink but very pale so it's not um, well visible on the tags. Um, you will see it better later when we will use uh, different paint and different medium. So now we can remove our stencil but as you can see there is also a pattern um, below the stencil so if we take another tag we can again use it press it firmly down and we will receive another pattern this is positive and uh, on the other tags it was like negative so we have another tag with acrylic paint and one more one more tag so we will have four tags four tags from one jelly plate one stencil and uh, now we need to clean our jelly plate so we can do this using a wet baby wipe or just clean tap water but please remember do not use any chemicals because the jelly plate is very delicate thing so I remove all the paint and in a while we will be ready for another color another color of acrylic paint. This time we will take blue. Now this is light blue also from Talens Amsterdam. We need a small amount. You see yourself that the amount of the acrylic paint is very very small. We use our brayer to spread the paint across the jelly plate. As soon as we we are ready we can use a stencil this time this is Tim Holtz stencil with rays so we use exactly same tags so you will be able to see that there will be a new layer so we have pink and now blue acrylic paint on the tag and this is the way how you can achieve uh, the various layers on the one tag using different colors of acrylic paints. So we have one half of jelly plate. Now we can use the other half. Press firmly down the tag and the paint will remain on the tag. So there are splatters and we still have a lot of paint on the jelly plate so we can use it also. As you can see we did, we made four tags. This is not so gorgeous as previous ones but I will use it also for one of my projects. So now I would like to show you because the colors are very pale I would like to... oh yes, now they are visible very well but I will show you how it looks like how it looks with when you use a, a different medium uh, I will take a glimmer mist yes, this is a green glimmer mist bubble light green the name of this color is bubble light green and I will shake it of course <laughs> and spray all over the tag and the colors of our paint will be much more visible <clears throat> so you will be able to see how it looks I 
I wipe the excess of the glimmer mist uh, using a tissue and now you can see much better wow isn't it gorgeous I love working with media so thank you for watching me and I hope I encouraged you a little bit to work with media bye